Welcome everybody, happy Easter to you. Two practices today, two short practices to blow away the cobwebs, to recharge us, re-energise us, as spring is here. Just come and stand on your mats, lift your toes out, spread up, spread them out, feel the earth beneath your feet. It's nice to feel the earth beneath your feet. It's nice to feel grounded. So think about lifting the arches. And think about being connected at the base of the big toe, the base of the little toe, the back of the foot. And a soft gaze. And take a few breaths here. Next time you breathe in, feel you're drawing this energy up from the earth. And breathing out, letting it go all the way back again. And then breathing in a bit higher, a bit deeper. Drawing the energy out through your strong spine, even all the way to the crown of your head. And you pause and let it wash all the way through you. Imagine breathing right out, right back into the earth. And breathing in again, drawing the energy up. Imagine this time you can breathe all the way through the crown of your head. And pause, don't forget the pauses. And a nice, long, slow, complete out breath. Imagine breathing out into the air. And carry on in your own time. You start to feel that balance. You feel grounded, but you feel light. You feel balanced between the earth and the sky and everything in between. Do the breath you're on and one more. Take time to check in how you feel today. And bring yourself back. It's a little bit of flow here, the same breath really as we've just been doing. It's called Salute to the Earth. And don't be afraid to move your feet because it's a bit of a, a yang practice, more of an energetic practice. Let's probably start with about hip width apart actually. Take your hands, interlink your fingers and take your hands to your tummy. Breathing in, drawing the energy up. Breathing out, letting it wash all the way through you. Breathing in, spreading it around. Exhale, give it back to the earth. And come again. And exhale completely. Draw the navel in at the bottom of the breath. Inhale, feel the expansion through the ribs. And exhale, give it back. Let's do one more of these and we'll make it different. Breathing in. Make your breaths a little bit longer, a little bit slower there. Breathing right up into the top of the lungs, into the collarbone area, and letting it all go. 
and that's the breath. So we do something a little bit different now. Come with me. Breathing in, drawing the energy up. Breathing out. There's a lovely flow with your breath here. Take it home. And this is different. And we exhale, bend the knees, come down to the earth and to the sky. And all the way back. And one more, slightly different. Forward bend this time, watch the knees keep them soft, hinge in the hips. Little back bend if you like, take it home. So we're going to inhale, we're going to heel toe, heel toe, heel toe out and move the feet. Turn to the right, exhale, push away. Inhale, nice straight legs. Exhale, take it home. And come again to the left and push. A lovely smooth flowing breath here. Let's do two more rounds. So don't be afraid to move your feet. The in breath, drawing the energy up, letting it wash through. Nice big expansion through the sides of the body as you lift and let it go and come again to the earth, to the sky. Lovely and smoothly, remembering the pauses at the top and the bottom of the breath. a seat. So you're rooting down and you're extending in that balance between the earth and the sky. That again. Nice and smooth and slowly as you forward bend. Exhale, take it home. Inhale as we move the feet. Exhale, push away, inhale, and all the way back. Let's do the other side. Exhale, inhale, come to the centre, so just one more. Remember that pause, and exhale completely. Just like blowing up a balloon. Breathe right up to the top of the lungs. And let everything go. Shoulders are soft. Well done. Come to the earth. And root down and extend all the way up to the sky. Grow tall, beautifully strong. And exhale back. Forward bend to the earth. And take it home. So we move here on the inhale and exhale. Breathe in and all the way back. And again. Building up the energy. And then come and be still, soften the shoulders, soften the eyes. Take a few slow breaths. And set your intention. What do you need for yourself from this practice? What do you need for yourself today? Set your intention. And then very slowly bring yourself back so we're still standing. Come and stand at the front of your mat. Take your hands to your hearts. 
And with that connection between the earth and the sky, we're going to root down and extend and hinge from the hips. Look up as you step your left leg back, a big circle into warrior two here. So this little sequence is called blow away the cobwebs. You might have done it before. Let's hold warrior two for about five breaths, so beautifully strong. Get that balance of strength and ease, still as you can. So feel your foot alignment, sink down through strong legs. Lovely strong arms reaching from the centre, but the shoulders are soft. The in breath strong, but the out breath soft. A couple more breaths. So we're going to flow with this. As we breathe in, we reverse the warrior. As we breathe out, we hold. You breathe in back to two. You breathe out, you hold. Let's do four more. And your feet are really grounded, so you can flow from there. If you know, we're only moving out of the waist. See if you can sink down a little bit more and two more. Flowing on the in-breath, going a little bit deeper on the out-breath. And this time we're going to hold it there for five breaths. So you could be like this, or you could come back into a little bit more of a forward bend, of a back bend, sorry, if you so wish. Push down with the front foot. Feel the space you're making between the ribs. Nice, deep, energising breaths here. Really rooting down with the outer edge of the left foot too. And you can look down, you can look up. I quite like to look down because that helps me to keep my balance. These are very strengthening, these postures, giving you strength and stamina. Let's move again with the in-breath. As we come to side angle, gentle side angle. Exhale, relax into the posture. A lovely stretch from the outer left foot to the fingers, all the way up the left side. Inhaling, we're moving. That knee, that front knee still over the ankle. Exhale, relax. Brilliant. And again. Exhale, when you're really grounded, and then you can flow. You have this lovely, strong tummy to hold you, to support you, to support your back. How much more space can you make through the side of the body? Lovely, and next time we come over, you're going to hold a gentle side angle, so very lightly on that thigh. Breathe well. If some of you want a stronger practice, you're very welcome to take the hand down in a foot or put your hands on a block. Otherwise, just rest very, very lightly. Breathing into the left ribs, into the left lung, making space here. Lovely stretch of the side of the body. When the arms reached up, you're stimulating the lung meridian, which runs from the clavicle area all the way up the inner arm to the thumb. Nice stretch for the outer body, the outer legs, for the gallbladder. Inner legs, the liver. So those are the organs we need to think about this time of the year with the spring coming to recharge us, re-energise us. And that's lovely. Float back into two. Ease out the shoulders, ease out the shoulders, take your hands to your heart, step very gracefully to the front of your mat, I have to let the little doggy out. Out you go, because you'll probably start being a nuisance. Go out and see your friends. So at the front of your mat, we still haven't quite finished this side, so hips are nice and level. Take your left leg back. The right knee can be a bit soft, hands on the hips, draw the left hip forward, right hip back, and a lovely flat back here, a lovely flat tabletop back here, good, chest is lifted. And then come up again, keep the knee as soft as you want, you can bend it a little bit if you like. Keep that leg through the front of the sides of the body, and that might be enough for you. Some of you might interlink the fingers behind the back or fold the arms, some might do Prayer hands behind the back. 
Let's hold Pashvatanasana or Pyramid for about eight breaths. Press your palms together, roll the shoulders back. My gaze is over my little toe. I'm easing my ribs towards my inner thigh. I'm looking forward, not down. And that knee can be soft if it's better. Really push down with the right foot and draw back through your right hip. A couple more breaths. Breathe in slowly. Breathe out slowly. Breathe in soft and deep. Breathe out softly. Soften that standing leg as you come up, bend the knee, put your hands on your hips, check they're nice and level, and we're putting the weight on the right foot as we just gently take, lift the left foot up. That might be enough for you. Firm the tummy muscles up to support you. Soft standing leg, and we'll take our flying bird for five to eight breaths. And we'll count five, four, stay with it. Some days are wobbly, so don't worry if it's a wobbly day for you. Three, two, one. So how gracefully can you step back, <laughs> come to the front? So we're going to do the other side, exactly the same on the other side. Have a drink or anything you need to have. And a big in-breath. Exhale completely. Look up as you step out with the right foot. Big circle with the right arm. Warrior T. Breathe well. So feel grounded. And be aware where gravity is acting on your body. And push down with your feet into the earth. Spread your toes out, just like you want to push the mat away in two. Imagine there's a perforated line between your feet and you're tearing the mat in two. Push down through strong palms. Get that mixture of strength and ease. I'm going to move in this. Turn the palm up as you breathe in. Exhale, hold your reverse, warrior. Inhale back to two. Don't move the legs, just from the waist. Exhale, palm up. Inhale, let's get a lovely flow. Exhale, you soften. And moving with the breath. On the out breath, can you sink a little bit deeper? Can you make it a bit more juicier on the out breath? Can you open up the ribs more, the right ribs? Can you make more space? Really lovely. Let's just do two more. You've got these arms just stretching from your heart centre, so your shoulders are really beautifully relaxed. And we hold it there. Sink a little bit further through the front foot. Bend the knee. It's over the ankle. So you're really grounded, but you're light. Use the breath. Really root down and ex really root down and extend on the in breath. Soften on the out breath. Being strong and flexible. Couple more breaths. Let's move the in breath. Takes us over to our side angle. Exhale. Relax a bit deeper. We're moving very gracefully. So was that lovely pause on the at the end of the out breath where you can go a little bit deeper, you know? And 
that's it. Using the breath to help you to get into position. To help you to sink down even further. Let's do one more. And can you hold it so very lightly with that elbow? Don't push down. So that's stage one. Stage two, people can take the hand in a foot, push against the inner leg, and you can sort of look up a bit if you like, and make it a little bit more open, drawing the ribs towards the right. Be strong, breathe well. You take the arm over, you can wrap it round if that's not good for you. So let the breath feed your practice. As you breathe in, allow yourself to lengthen and then you can soften. Just be aware of the sensations, the breath. Let's take two more breaths. Help yourself all the way up, well done. Palms up palms down, soften the shoulders, hands to your heart, step forward. So from here we're going to step back with the right foot, hips are squared off, square the hips off, just soften that left knee, keep your hands in your hip creases and come over. So it's forward, not down, remember. You're lengthening out of the waist, there's lots of space from the pubic bone to the throat. Now come up slowly. Little back bend first before you come forward and then hinging from the hips come over and what you're going to do with your hands this this is fine or keeping them on the hips just checking the sacrum's nice and squared off or you can do prayer hands if you like or whatever you did before you could even take your hands to the earth if, if that feels better let's take about eight breaths here So become aware of the sensations of breath. That helps you to be aware. Yoga is a sort of, it's a mindfulness practice. It's a moving mindfulness practice. And what we do is, we do functional yoga. There's two sorts, there's aesthetic yoga and there's functional. As, aesthetic is when you're doing a showy off your pose that you might you know, it might look good to people, but we don't really do that in yoga. That's more done in dance, gymnastics, ice skating. In yoga, we're working functionally. It doesn't matter what it looks on the outside. It's about what it feels like inside. We're getting to know our own unique bodies. Lovely, so come up slowly with awareness. Well done. Put your hands on your hips and square them off, square them off. Soften the standing leg, really root down, lift your heart. And I'm going to come just very lightly here, okay? That might be enough. Or you can lift off into flying birds. And if you've got a bookcase in front of you like I have, that might help. <laughs> you can always stand against the wall. So that foot, that right foot, it can just be nice and free and loose. You can have it pointed, you can have it flexed. If it's flexed, it does help to square the hips up a bit more. Firm up the tummy, open your wings. Five, four, three, two, one. Step back really gracefully. Well done. Turn to the front. That's looking good. <laughs> so turn the toes out a little bit. Take your hands to your heart. We're going to breathe in, draw the energy up. Exhale, let it wash through you. Take a seat there and open out into Goddess. Lift your heart. So Easter's, it's about the goddess, Eastra or Ostra. Eastra, it sounds like Easter eggs, doesn't it? German pagan goddess of Eastra, the goddess of fertility. 
new beginnings, dawn, light. Sink a little bit deeper here. Watch those knees and inner thighs don't migrate to the center. Take your hands to your thighs and just do a little bit of looking over to the side. Draw the left shoulder over to the right. Beautifully strong legs. We've worked really hard today. How do they feel? They still okay? Oh, and it's lovely to straighten them there. Keep them soft. Put your hands on your hips. Get that lovely little back bend before we come forward. Hinge from the hips. And we could just hang there. We could let go. We've worked quite strongly. Relax. Soften the knees. And feel that your spine is like that beautiful waterfall. Just flowing. Lovely and free and strong and healthy. Just flowing from your pelvis. No effort. Relax. And it's lovely to do a forward bend here. It's like an inversion, but you haven't got the pressure of the head on the ground, like a headstand without the pressure of the head. The head's below the heart and you're relaxing, letting go, softening. Very slowly, take your hands down, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe in. Bend your knees and come to a little squat. I'm going to move the feet out a little bit so I can sit back. And this little sequence is called Blossom into Joy. So lift up, make a little bit of space. Take the left arm under the left leg. Take a peek behind you to the right and then open up. Breathe well. Use that arm as a bit of a lever to ease your hands. And that might be enough. Or you might bring the arm around the back. And that might be enough. Or you might even be able to do, wrap the left arm round. Left hand might scrub right wrist and, and do a, a little bit of a, do a little bit of a bind there. Can you see? Okay. But otherwise, be happy where you are. And if you can't meet, take a strap or something. Just feel your tummy, your ribs, your chest, your shoulder, all easing out to the right. Give your tummy a lovely squeeze and release that. So right arm underneath, let's take a little peek behind us, what's going on there. And if the arms are right and shoulders not tight, open up the wings. The pinky finger can turn forwards towards the back of the head and that opens the shoulder a little bit more. And then wrap the arm round. And that might be where you stay, or you might be able to take a little bit of a bind here. Try to get the armpit in front of the thigh. And your right hand grabs the left wrist and pulls it. And you've got over the left. Open up that, open up that left shoulder. That's it. Keep drawing your left hand towards the right side of your mat to get a jolly good stretch on the shoulder. Well done. Come to the centre. Let it go. Take the soles of the feet together in a butterfly and have a little butterfly flap there. Open your wings. <laughs> Take a few breaths there. And then you shut your eyes. Relax. And maybe don't go any deeper. So you can just visualise those inner thighs, inner knees lengthening towards the side wall, making space. Sit tall, that helps. And as we come up slowly, you might just stay there, that might be enough. You might be able to try a little balance today. <laughs> Might be able to lift your feet up and you might be able to wrap your arms around and take a little bind here. Sit tall, breathe well. Go 
a nice stretch through the inner thighs here. Nice straight spine. Maybe lift a little bit higher. And then we can hook one toe and stretch up. And the other. Fabulous. And maybe both feet. That's it, sit tall, just hanging from your big toes. Have a nice smile. You can hold the back of the knees if, if that's better for you. Always adjust to suit yourself. It's your practice. Remember, it's functional yoga. It's functional yoga. It doesn't matter what we look like as long as it's safe. Just enjoy your yoga. And a couple more breaths. Breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out softly. Come back to butterfly legs. So this one in yin yoga is called the long-legged butterfly. Take your feet further away from your sitting bones. So you've made a diamond shape. And then we can just hang forward and relax. Allow yourself to soften. Nice easy breaths here. And your back is rounded here. Your spine is flexed. Breathe in between the shoulders. Breathe out, relax your low back. Breathe in between the shoulders. Breathe out between your into your kidney area. Relax your kidneys. Allow your forehead to soften, your gaze to soften, letting go. Stay with the breath, stay with the sensations. See if you can soften even further in that lovely pause at the end of the out breath. it go gently we hold a lot in our hips we hold a lot physically and emotionally When we're taking a quiet posture like this, it's very easy for the mind to start telling you stories, chattering. If it does, go back to the breath, the in-breath, the out-breath, and those wonderful pauses between the breath. We can let go even further. Allowing yourself to soften. Taking time to look inside. How's your back feeling? How are you feeling now? Let's come up nice and slowly. And the most important posture, <laughs> put on warm stuff. Make your room cosy, play some music, light a candle. I'm going to guide you into Shavasana and then I'll just leave you there for as long as you like. So come and find a lovely comfy position. Knees can be bent, 
Legs can fall out with a little space between the legs, between the feet. The arms are down to the, by the side, the palms are up. The shoulders are soft. The eyes are soft. Take a few slow breaths and allow yourself to sink down into the earth, into the support of your mouth. Let the earth hold you. And we, with each slow breath, allow yourself to relax even deeper. Allow the breath to simply rock and cradle you and ease you. And take as much time here as you like to absorb all the good work we've done in this practice. 